The first one that we have here is binary to hexadecimal conversion. We have a very long binary number, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and so on. Now, what we want to do is actually start from right to left, breaking this out into sets of four. So we have got 1, 0, 0, 1 as our first set of four. We have got 0, 0, 1, 1 as our second set of four, which we can see here. We have got 1, 0, 1, 1, which is the third set of four. 1, 1, 1, 0, another set of four. 1, 1, 1, 1, as you can see, another set of four. 1, 0, 1, 0, another set of four. And keep going down 0, 0, 1, 0. I'm trying to get a desired effect here. 0, 1, 0, 0, oh boy, what do I have left? Well, up to this point, all that is left is a 1. Now remember that this has to be broken down into an equal amount of four digit binary values. And if the first binary place holder is flagged as a 1, this means everything in front of it should be a 0. So we're going to pair this with three zeros. 0, 0, 0, 1, because it's equivalent to the exact same thing. It does convert to 1. Now, I have got all of these half-byte increments and these hexadecimal digits. I can simply convert them from decimal into hexadecimal. 0, 0, 0, 1, which is 1. There is the 2 value. There is the 4 value. There is a 4 plus 0, 1, which is a 5. There is an F, which is all values added together. There is a 4, a 2, and a 1 added together, which is a 7. There is an 8, a 4, and a 1 added together, which is equivalent to a D. There is an 8 and a 4 equivalent to a C, a 12, and finally there is an 8 and a 1 equivalent to a 9. So this value in binary is actually equivalent to 1245 F7 DC9 in hexadecimal. And we have just completed a hexadecimal conversion from binary to hexadecimal.